Owatonna High School girls track coach Ann Christensen and the Huskies were very well represented at the elite meet on the girls side as well with one of the relay teams and uh, Ann how did things go on Friday? Um, well it was it went really really well the girls they're just so fun to watch and they had a fantastic race they dropped three seconds off their best time and so they came in fourth with a 145.38 so um, that consists of Steph Kretlow um, Sid Schultz, Carissa Gregory, and Margot Octokirk. And, you know, they're all very strong runners and ran a great time. It was it was a lot of fun to watch. That was the 4x200, correct? Yes, that was the 4x200. Shaved three seconds off their time. Pretty impressive. How did they do that? That's a pretty big drop, isn't it? Well, you know, so far they, up until Friday night, they really hadn't been pushed by anybody. And so, you know, they're, they're running fast, but not having that, you know, somebody to chase or do anything, and um, so that helps, and we just keep refining their handoffs, and of course, you know, early season, you expect to keep dropping time, so we, we hope to keep getting even faster. All right, great, and when did they, uh, when did they get the qualifying time to uh, participate there? Um, that came through at the, was that, at JM, I believe it was, mm-hmm. so um, they were close with their Austin in bay time, but they've been flirting with that time quite often, so they've been running it well. So a fourth place finish at the Elite Meet for the 4 by 200 group, a fantastic way to uh, spend a Friday night. Uh, earlier in the week, a uh, home meet on Tuesday that went pretty well, right? It did. We had a great team performance in uh, probably not so ideal conditions. Hmm. It was a little chilly, but we did have 42 personal bests on the day. Um, I think probably feeling the show was Sid Kretlow. She had an honor roll performance in the 400, and for us the honor roll is 61.0, and she ran a 60.47. And uh, so that that was another fun one to watch. And there, too, she wasn't really pushed in that time. Just missed getting her in the elite meet. Maybe if she'd have been pushed, she probably would have made that. Other first places or notables to pass along from Tuesday? Yeah, we won nine events on the day, and probably should do the team score, too. Um, mm-hmm. We won that meet with 92 points, and then Cato West had 81, and Albert Lee came in with 13. So um, when we look at our 100 hurdles, uh, Toria Cook took first place there, and we also had a first from our 4 by 2 and actually I guess that's their season best was there up until mm-hmm. last night. And then our 4 by one also won, and that's the same group of girls. They had a season best time there as well. Um, Sid Kretlow with her honor roll performance in the 400, point one, and Sarah Anderson took second there. Um, and Krista Gregory won the 200, and Toria Cook and Caitlin Jensen won 2-3 in the 300 hurdles. Our 4 by one was also first. That was um, Grace Wolf, Sarah Anderson, Peyton Wanderlich, and Sid Kretlow. And then in our field events, we got a first and second from shot put from Mary Beer and Jessica Von Ruden. And in the pole vaults, we got um, two girls tied for third there. The triple jump, Carly Langland took first, and she also took first in the long jump. And I'm missing the discus people, but they did well. Mm-hmm. Also, that was Lexi Langland and Jessica Von Ruden. Great. What does the week ahead hold for the Huskies? Well, on Tuesday, we get to travel over to Winona and go against Winona and Northfield. And I, maybe I've asked before, but who are the big nine, the top teams in the big nine in your estimation right now? I would have to say it's Century. Um, okay. they're, they looked pretty tough. We had the Austin invite last Saturday, too, and oh. we could talk about that, too, if you want to. Yeah, yep, go ahead. Um, Give us the notes on Austin. Yeah, so we were there last Saturday, and... Uh, Mankato East actually won it with 170 points, and Century was second with 160. Okay. And Austin had just out, they had 128, and we had 102. And then it trickled down from there. So we were fourth out of uh, nine teams we had there. So um, there, too, we had 19 PBs. It was a great day for running as far as, you know, it's a nice track and everything, but it was still a little chilly, mm-hmm. and there was quite a brisk wind, but we still had 19 personal deaths on the day. And Chuck, kind of showing that, you know, the future is going to be pretty strong for this team. Um, The highlight of the day, our 4x1 did win. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were, you know, we had some people out that were at other events. And so we put some other people in there. They 
they ran well. Um, so Caitlin Anderson ran that with Steph Crebo and Sid Schultz and Chris Gregory. And then we had some second place finishes from our four by one, which was Allie Goldberg, Emily Rorick, uh, Sid Hunt, and Sid Kretlow. Mm. And our four by one was second, and that was Steph Kretlow with Carissa Gregory, Sid Schultz, and Mariana Rehm. And then uh, Sid Kretlow took second in the 800, and she's running some really nice times in the 800 as well. So that was a, it was a, it was a good day. The weather was yeah, pretty good for that time of the year, but um, they just keep showing that they're going to keep getting better. So this is a, a strong team. They're doing very well. Great, and I think you'll have nicer weather at Winona on Tuesday. It sounds like we're maybe, uh, once again, maybe we're making the turn towards some better spring sports weather. Well, that would be very nice. And, you know, Winona has a very nice track over there, too, so we expect to have some good performances over there as well. Well, Anne, thank you very much, and uh, good luck with uh, the upcoming schedule. Thanks, Roy. I appreciate it. All right. Once again, it was a fourth-place finish from Owatonna's 4x200 relay team at yesterday's Hamlin Elite Meet. Coach Ann Christensen for Owatonna Girls Track on KRFO.